Hello, Cancer. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, Val 53 Tarot, which is a review as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Interesting. What is that? Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here we go. I was going to say you. <laughs> you, Cancer. <laughs> They're focused on you. Um... Not too sure. I was gonna. Ooh. I was gonna say I'm not too sure, but also they're not too sure. Um, so jumping into this, what they do, show me. There's a there's a consideration here. Um, it's definitely a matter of how they kind of perceive you, how they're looking at you, how they're viewing you, as well as how they are kind of approaching. I, I don't know exactly what is going on or how this is taking place, but what they're kind of showing me is. They're very quick to be watchful. They're very quick to want to gain information. They're very quick to want to literally watch. Um, and I'm, that's where I'm not too sure exactly how this is unfolding because that would mean that whatever's going on, Cancer, they're aware of you, but not in the typical sense of aware of you. It's an energy of they see you somewhere. Um, and that's what's interesting is this is kind of an energy of not necessarily stalkerish or creep, but... They're watching. They're, they're keeping tabs on you. They're watching you somehow. And even though they're kind of playing it cool and kind of like, okay, understandable, they're really trying to kind of sort through their emotions and their feelings. And I feel like it is about you. Um, at first, initially, they're, they're not too sure. And then they realize like there definitely is some sort of emotions and feelings you're growing about and for you, which they're very kind of hesitant. Of, you know, like, you know what? I feel how I feel. It is what it is. They are trying... How do I say this? They are trying to literally manifest you cancer they're trying to manifest you um and even though it kind of seems and it feels like there is something there between the two of you i kind of feel like maybe not necessarily um they show me that even though this is a new love and emotions and feelings for you and they're trying to kind of like you know in a sense manifest you into their life what's interesting about this is they do see you for you they see you as some sort of status or you know you're up there but they're not too sure exactly of whether or not they want like further commitment. And that's what I find a little interesting. Um, they're like, well, I just don't know about us. Um, but they're kind of giving me this energy of like, they don't know about the both of you, but they're saying cancer, you're, you're attractive. They're kind of, huh. they're like, well, it is, it's interesting. It's kind of like the self talk. Yeah. And there's the lovers and it's like this energy of like, well, what are they trying to do? What are they trying to do? What are they trying to create here between the two of you? Because they feel what they feel, but they're not too sure exactly 100% what they want with you or from you. They don't even know. They don't even know. Yeah, and there it is. Oh, oh. Um. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. Huh. 
Jeez, jeez, jeez. Huh. They, they're on the fence. They, they don't know whether or not they want commitment with you or not. And what's interesting is that they, they kind of go through this process of psyching themselves up. And I don't know what that's about. They, they kind of psych themselves up. Um, do, I, do they want this with you? Do they not want this with you? I kind of feel like they're on the fence. They're on the fence. But as they're in the process of kind of psyching themselves up, I do see that they're like, well, I am who I am and I'm accomplished and I'm successful too. And so they're kind of like wanting to kind of, you know, not necessarily rise to how they perceive you, but they're kind of like, you know, psyching themselves up to the point where they're kind of saying, well, I still have options and I'm still, I still have time to make my decision of whether I want something more serious with cancer or not. They're right now saying that they could actually, unfortunately, cancer, they might be juggling you with someone else. They might have, in a sense, multiple suitors here that they might be pursuing because what they're saying is, I just want to live a good, I just want to live a good life. I just want to have fun. I just want to enjoy myself. And even though there are people all around me, um, I'm doing what I got to do to kind of keep myself in line and keep things going and be responsible. And interestingly enough, even though they kind of show me regarding their own, you know, personal pursuits, they're not 100% happy or fulfilled. They're not. Even though they may show or present that they're having a good time and they're surrounded by all these people, they're like, yeah, I'm actually not fulfilled. I'm not as happy as I show myself to be. Yep. They're going through it they're going through it and yeah and that, that's what i was talking about it's about the connection between the two of you and they're kind of jeez um the connection and that's what i was kind of wondering um i feel like cancer whoever this is it feels like you have a history or past with them and they're trying to come back around it does because they're saying how things used to be and how things used to feel with the both of you was so much smoother, so much greater, so much better. And the way things are now, they're like, I don't even know. They're, they're so kind of emotionally besides themselves. They don't exactly know how to even work towards making this connection or relationship or whatever work with you. They don't know. They're like, I, I don't even know if cancer's going to be there. I don't know. Like, is there a connection there anymore or is there not? <laughs> they don't, yeah. They're, they're like, I... Uh, Ah, okay. They're considering it. They're considering it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. What an interesting dynamic. Yeah, what an interesting dynamic. Um, geez, they're fighting themselves. They're fighting themselves. It's almost like they're trying to predict how this would unfold with the two of you. They're trying to predict how this would unfold. And they just don't know. They're like, well, I, I feel like I would be back to square one trying to figure this out. Like, why is anything actually happening with us? Um... I don't know. I don't know. They go through the consideration and they're like, well, I don't know about that. Maybe it's just time for me to kind of like choose a new direction or maybe choose to do something or be something different. I don't know. But there's a whole lot of energy here about something clearly not working out the way they thought it would. And then they're just kind of emotionally going through it and saying, well, great. Here's all this. Um, so, of course, if you are dealing with anyone you could be dealing with. An air sign, an earth sign, a fire sign, or a water sign. They're all here. Goodbye.